We've decrypted the Nightfire files you secured last night, 007. They contain rather troubling data concerning a shutdown nuclear power plant not far from Tokyo. Phoenix Corporation has been contracted to cleanse the plant of radioactive material. We now suspect that massive amounts of construction have been secretly carried out inside the towers. Your mission is to infiltrate the plant and find out what Drake is hiding. As always, 007, best of luck. Whoa. Of course, dismantling a nuclear reactor is an incredibly delicate operation. And dangerous as well, yes? That is why we've invested in robot technology, like those forklifts. Insanely expensive. But keeping our people safe is important. And when our work is done, the beaches here will be clean enough for our children to swim and their grandfathers to fish. Thank you, Mr. Drake. I appreciate the exclusive interview. And so do I. Interview is over, Mr. Rook. All snipers back in position. Man, they totally nailed Drake as such a fucking good Bond villain. He has got the ideal thing of like he's he's smooth and smarmy to the cameras, and then as soon as ever he's like, your camera should help you here. Any snipers in the shadows will be much easier to locate. So as Q says, oh, by the way, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to James Bond 007 Nightfire. So, I reckon snipers in the shadow should be easy to locate. You can mark them with your camera, but it doesn't usually help. This is still calling this the Winter Tactical Sniper, when it's not the Winter, it's the regular Tactical Sniper. The Winter one is not only silenced, but also is is white. Uh, I think, oh, shit bags. There's at least one up there, possibly. I'm not having a, oh, there's one over there. There we go. Good day, sir. Man, 30 shots I start with on this? That's ludicrous. Right. Are there any more? I think we're largely done for now. So, yes, this is episode 7, I believe now. Chain Reaction, which takes place in this nuclear plant that's in the process of decommissioning. So, if... Oh, we need to actually laser our way into this, don't we? Oh, there's someone trying to shoot at me again. Right, where the fuck are you? Um, that's not gonna help, is it? Nope. That might, but... Right, it was saying- it was saying my camera must help. So... Nope, not the fucking lighter, the normal mode of the camera. I guess it's just because it's got a really ludicrous zoom. Oh, I think I've seen a guy over there. I see him. Oh, someone's seen me, fuck me. Well, let's just keep on the move until I see him. Is there just someone down on the floor? I keep thinking that's someone there, but that's a fucking hook. Fuck it, I'm just gonna go and proceed with the level. So here, what we need to do is- oh, bugger me. God, I thought I was gonna have a brief moment of rest, but apparently, already, we're into a firefight. Oh, and I fucking pissed away several shots from this guy. Jesus Christ, that was awful. Jumping through that vent was apparently based on sound, was a bond moment, but it did not feel like one because I was seen within seconds of poking my dumb head out. Right, come on, man. Right, what else have I got? I've got a pistol, at least. Apparently that's better than the sniper rifle there. Okay. Oh, bugger me, there's another guy down there. Right. Come on. Nope, gotta reload now. That's a terrible time to reload. Oh, there we go. Right, now we can swap to the micro camera, zoom in, and take a picture of the old jetpack prototype. Wonderful. And let's burn the picture. I always used to think when I was a kid, I was like, oh, you take photos and then when you burn it, it must automatically wipe the SD card or whatever it is. Not the case. Um, as far as I'm aware, haven't tested it, but it doesn't certainly doesn't undo the old objective. So armor here, totally worth grabbing. Storm with 32 shots is not great, but the main asset we have this episode is we're given a sniper rifle with like 40 shots in it to start with. So really do take the greatest advantage of that. Oh, here's where it's actually, here's the way out. Um, is it that way? No, it's not that way. It must be this way, then. Take cover. Oh, shit. Who's saying take cover? No one's taking to cover. I see you. Oh, no you don't. What? Ow, fuck me. Must be someone up there, then. Really? Where is that? Oh, there we go. Oh, I think I Prince Alberted him. I think I shot him straight through the dick. 
I don't feel great about that, but... I mean, he did shoot first. He did shoot me at least once, possibly twice, so... I think really that does make it his fault. Um, let's just sneak around here. God. Oh, bugger me. No, you don't. You don't see anything. Oh, that's another dick shot. Oh, this is an awful mission so far. It's a bit... Oh, sneak into Drake's headquarters and give all of his henchmen involuntary Prince Alberts. That's your mission for this episode. Bond... Oh, God. Well, I mean, I know what we've got to do here, really, is... Oh, there's a guy there. Right in the dick. And... <laughs> I've just... I've established a precedent here, so I suppose I'm going to have to continue it as much as possible. Don't feel good about it, but, you know, here we are. So there's the robot forklifts going around. Oh, bugger me. Um, right, is there someone up high? No. Oh, fuck me. Someone's shooting the moment I stick my head out. He's behind the forklift. Really? I mean, yes, technically, but... Oh, fuck. No, it's not. He must be to the left there the moment I stick out he's seeing me. He'll be up there. That's a uh, negative on that. Um, right, let's try and keep. Oh, buggy, he's right there. Right, Prince Albert. <laughs> just, I've committed to this. For... Right, let's see. You know what? Let's do a little challenge here. Let's see if I can go this entire episode and every single Phoenix guard I kill, I'll Prince Albert them while doing so. Oh, bugger me. Right, they have very good accuracy on this. Like, they don't shoot at you unless they can literally see you, so it does give you an idea of where people are when you're receiving shots. Unfortunately, I guess we've hacked or something like that. We can hear their <laughs> communications pretty well. No, you don't. Okay, there's someone up over there, then. No, I'm not. Shut up. No one's on the ground. There's no ground here. Um, I see him. Okay, so you see me when I stick my hand around there. So where are you then? Oh, he might be up there. No. Nope. Right, let's head into this building and see what we can do about snipers at least. I know where I've got to go for this. You basically got to go high and then around from there. But I'd rather take snipers out if I can. It makes this whole mission so much easier. So I'm assuming the moment I stick my head out someone's gonna... Spot it! Oh fuck, there's one up there. That's... Well, that may have been it. Got him right. I think that was in the dick. Not entirely sure. Slow-mo replay. Confirm please, future doctor. Right. I think we're actually pretty clear for now. So, our goal is this ladder here, and then we can climb up and work our way around from there. If you're on this ladder, you're ludicrously exposed while you've still got snipers active, but I think we killed all of them. You can also grapple up here. Um, I haven't really used the grapple at all, but if I had done, there's a grapple point. You can kind of go, woohoo! Oh no, it doesn't let me do it when I'm this close. You can basically pull yourself towards a grapple point here, so you hit Y, and you'll go into climbing mode. So you're slowly progressing across, and as you can see, you've got, like, stamina in the top of the screen there. And once it shows, like, the hangy man symbol again, that's when you're, like, free to drop down. And once again, you're super exposed while doing this. This is kind of why you really want to take out all potentially snipey enemies while you're on foot before attempting any kind of a climbing maneuver at all. I think so. This final one leaves over here where we're also good. Gotta give him more sniper rounds. Bugger me, I've got another 23 plus 5, so 29, 28 rounds. That's pretty bloody good. It'll be very handy in this mission because, yeah, being able to take enemies out from a distance is so handy here. Right, let's hop down. And in we go. I already thought that was going to be a checkpoint. Ah, oh, shit, Max. Right, who the fuck's shooting me? Oh, there's a guy over there. He's not shooting me, but... Oh, God, I missed him anyway. Right, it doesn't count that I didn't give him a Prince Albert because he wasn't already, technically speaking, shooting at me. This guy is, though, so we've got to get him in the dick. Right, dick! Oh, God, I hit him in the... There we go. Right, that was definitely a dick shot, so that counts. There's a guy down there, so let's hit him in the knob. 
And there's another one, I guess, is up there. It looks like the bullets are coming from. Yep, totally. Right, let's see if we can get him. That guy, we got him in the knob from the back, I think. Um, and one more. Oh, he's got a bloody barrier in the way. And wallop. Wonderful. I really wish it ranked you on this. When it comes to, like, the Bond rankings at the end, it was like, oh, how many, how many henchmen did you shoot in the penis? Which I think we'd be doing very well for at the moment. Right, it gave a wee grapple icon there, but it's also... By the sounds of it, there's still dude shooting at me. So I don't necessarily want to bust out the grapple until I know it's safe. Fuck yeah, let's do it. Right, grapple. Oh shit, I've fallen down. Um, not good. Right. Oh shit. I guess... Oh, I guess we just need to walk back up here. Um... Yeah, there was an opportunity to grapple, so I'm like, oh, but I completely fucked that opportunity. Oh, that's an explosive barrel, so stay the fuck away from that. Yeah, chain reaction's probably one of the... L oh, bugger. Oh, it's up there. That's where he is. Um, right. Chance of hitting him in the knob are low, but let's go for it anyway. I mean, that was the upper thigh. Like, the... Ah, femur. Femur is basically knob, as far as I'm concerned. Right, it's telling me there's a grapple point in view here. I'd have to, like... Nope, no idea where the grapple point is, time is. But yeah, that's how you kind of grapple. You grapple using the phone like that, and it was one of the most fun features of multiplayer. There are a couple of levels that use it really... I was going to say really coolly, but that's not a word. So in a really cool fashion, where you could suddenly, like, grapple up and be like, oh ho, 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 fuck off! Because so it was one that had those... It was called Skyrail. It was probably the best multiplayer level, so it had both grappling things... Oh, I thought I opened that door had like grappling things and then you had two cable cars that went like in a circuit around the level. My god, it was so much fun. Squad 4, do you copy? Squad 4, what the hell's happening up there? Deploy the red team and take him down! Apparently somehow Mr. Rook just survived us basically- Oh, reverse Prince Albert up the bomb hole! Um, yeah, apparently Rook, Mr. Rook survived us destroying his helicopter in episode 2, um, so he's very much still alive and kicking at the moment. Oh, there's a dude through here, so let's just, don't even need the scope to get him and the Prince Albert, and let's Prince Albert this guy as well. I don't feel good about this mission, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to actually start a counter, right? Doctor, when you're editing this, put a thing in the top right of how many people I've shot in the knob. I think it's many. Um, this guy, unfortunately, we're just gonna have to shoot him in the face like a like a like a prick, um, because we can't shoot him in the knob because the angle was just unfortunate. Right? Oh, bugger me! I think there's another guy on that other crane. Yep, there we go. Oh, got him in the. <laughs> right? Genuinely, wasn't even planning that. There, it was just I brought the sights and and what can I say? There was a knob. <laughs> Got to go for it. And that's the quote to take from this LP, really. Um, I. Oh shit, someone's seen me then. Is there someone up there? Fuck hell. I'm not seeing anyone. Oh shit, someone's seeing me. Um, oh, there'll be someone up there, won't there? Oh, there we go. There's someone got you in the mouth, and someone came from over. Oh, bugger. Is there someone just on the floor over here? Um, I've got a storm actually. I can take on anyone on the floor. Oh, bugger, I've not got a great deal of health left. Let's get behind this. Right. Oh, fuck me. Right. Oh, genius. Okay, we've got two guys at least up there, I can see. Um, let's try and shoot at them through the very small window I've got here. That's one. And that's two. Okay. That may be all we need. Certainly no one else is firing at me. Oh, bugger, someone is. Shit. Oh, jump, 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 jump. Let's just get across this area as quickly as possible. Um, and that should be all we need, he says. Realising this wasn't the amazing escape route I once thought it was. But you know what we can do? We can fucking grapple up to there, can't we? Let's do it. Da 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 da! Oh, come on. Does it have to be green or something? Why are you not letting me fire it? Come on, fire the grapple. Ugh. Do you think I'm in combat? Is that it? Oh, there's another one over there. 
These are two extremely tempting grapple points, both of them, but neither of them will let me fire the fucking grapple. Right, how about there? Oh, come on, I'm right on the end. Well, what's the point of the damn grapple if you can't even use it? Ugh. Right, well, let's go over here, I guess. I'm going to switch back to this winter tactical sniper. I don't know why it keeps saying winter, because it's totally not winter. It's a normal, regular tactical sniper. I can see a kind of way up. Oh, who the fuck's shooting me? That's the issue. There's armor over here, at least, which will keep me going for a little longer. Alright, let's see if I can grapple up from here. There's a grapple point around here somewhere. I see him. No, you don't. Shut up. Get away from me. Right, let's see at what point this grapple point becomes real, if at all. So I know they go green when they're real. Ah, oh, fuck me. Because there's a ladder there which I can get up. But I'm worried that I'll just die on the way up. Um, there must be someone up there. Oh, there we go. Right. I'm going to move around a bit. See if anyone shoots at me. Okay, the music's still intense, but no one's shot at me, so I reckon I'm clear to go up this ladder. Oh, fuck, that's not a good thing to do when you're halfway up, halfway up a fucking ladder. Right, time for what I'm really hoping will be a Bond moment. Oh, shit, bags. I thought this was a zip wire. It's not. It's a just climby wire. Oh, God, get off, get off, get off, get off, Bond. You schmuck, Bond. Right, okay. Let's go right to the top here and see if we can pick out where... Oh, bugger. I just wanted to... Oh, no! Ah, oh, I wanted to jump and see where this... Ba I think I have an idea where the bastard is, but the issue is... He's got a much better bead on me than I've got on him, and he's really shooting at this ladder hard. I think I've seen him. Yeah, I wanted to jump to get a better angle, um, but unfortunately, I did not. Oh, God, I thought that was him, but that is not him. Uh, that is a grapple point. Oh, God. Right. Let's have a little look around, shall we? He doesn't seem to be up there. That's at least cleared that area for start. Oh, bugger. He must be dead ahead. Oh, there's two of them on the fucking roof there. Right, one of them we can get the moment we pop up. Oh, bugger. Shit. Right, I've seen him. Prince Albert! No, that was a belly shot, but we'll count it. And then just to his left is another one. So wait for him to fire. There we go. And there we go. God, I'm not doing great for health. Oh, and I've accidentally put my fucking glasses on. But this is... Yeah, we've got a good moment to move because I think that must be it for enemies now. Um, let's grab onto that. And we do need to get across here. Because as you can see, this is <laughs> fucking super exposed. And this way we can slowly grab our way across there um, without, without getting the <laughs> fucking shit shot out of us, basically. The fact no one's shooting us does strongly imply we've got all of the enemies, so there we go. This must be so fucking tiring. Have you ever tried doing one of these? Like, even like the monkey bars where you're like swinging from one to one is so tiring. This is up there with monkey bars, probably have a similar kind of level of just the fitness it requires. I suppose the man is a double O agent, like, you don't get to that rank accidentally. Let's fire this up. And then the crane spins around, which is all very nice. And how exactly does that help me? Oh yes, we can now jump on top of it. And down we go. So, can we now get to that grapple point over there? I'm assuming we can, yes. And over we go! So, that's how the grapple works. That you just point at a grapple point and over you go, as long as the game believes the grapple point is correct for you. Ooh, armor piercing rounds for the sniper. Fantastic. So, if we press B, we switch over to armor piercing mode on the winter tactical... Well, the you're fucking kidding me. Motherfucker. See, now I'm back in. My gut says don't go over there for the armor piercing rounds. It's not worth it because I don't know how to get down safely. So I'm actually going to stick with my gut in a surprising turn of events. Usually I would, I would go for the armor piercing ones because, you know, it looked cool as fuck. Oh shit, but unfortunately, 
I've decided to be sensible, because I'm weak and soft like that. Uh, oh shit, someone's shooting me there. Uh, let's shoot him in the knob. That was a bit more like the belly button, but I'll count it. Um, grapple up to there. Oh, wonderful. Let's just wait here until we can drop down onto this thing. Oh, that's a bond move right there. Wonderful. So we're on top of this, like, catwalk here, which gives us an advantage on the blokes down there. Oh, oh I can't easily get a dick shot from there. Oh, shit bags. Oh, hello, knob shot. That'll count. Right, there's another one over there somewhere. I definitely saw someone shooting at us over there. Oh, bugger, bugger, bugger. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't kill me. Don't make me redo it again. Okay, someone shooting from over there. Was that literally just where I was, right where I was standing? Because I must have fallen right by that guy. Oh, 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 knob shot. Nope. And cock shot. I think that was more like the femur again, but, you know, I'll allow it. Right, there's a guy over there, and cock shot. Yes. Right, let's get the old grapple out, and up we go. Let's try that again. Take two. Oh, right. Oh, bugger, bugger. Oh, what the fuck? That ain't right. Okay, at least I know where there's another guy over there somewhere. Oh, yes, come on. Bring your knob into view, sunshine. That was a femur shot. I'm not going to count that. Oh, God, I'm down to a new... I was talking earlier, it's like, oh, we've got sniper rifle for ammo for days here. And yet, I'm down to one shot. One opportunity. Oh, oh, that's in the worst place. I don't want to be here. Oh, fuck me. I'm going to die from the impact. Oh, God, that was bad. Okay. Yeah, I realized I was stuck up there, and I was going to wait fucking forever for the um, gantry thing to come back. Cock shot. Right. Um, well, that's at least... Uh, I'll, I'll grapple up. I have to be, like, here, don't I? Apparently that's not enough. Oh, there we go. Now we're up. Maybe the gantry has to be close enough to being in position. Right, let's ride the gantry over this time. Okay. Oh, God, someone else has seen me over there. Let's just spray a shit ton of bullets over that direction. Hopefully some of them will do him in. Oh, God. Not the right time to reload. I'm not doing great for health, and I know I have to redo this entire fucking section. Oh, I'm actually out of... Sniper rifle ammo, that's really not good. It looks like he fell over, that's pretty good. Oh no. Oh god. Oh, did I get him? Did that fucking get him? I really hope it did. Yes, it fucking did. That's fantastic. Objective, new objective. Photograph the laser prototype. Well, that's this bad boy right in front of us. Let's take a cheeky snap of that. Wonderful. Um, and then destroy door C5 with the laser mounted on the catwalk. So there's a couple of bad dudes here as well. I don't know how much we count cock shots when we're using a fucking laser, but there we go. Um, who the fuck's shooting at me? Well, we can blow up this door pretty easily with this thing. Wonderful. Now let's just get over there. Oh god. There's a lot of nasty people around here. Oh, 9mm rounds. Brilliant. That's what I want here. 9mm rounds. I suppose I can fire this pretty fucking quickly at least. Oh, surprise! There we go. That's one. And that's two. <laughs> that was actually... Way more straightforward than I thought. Oh, bugger. That's three. Oh, brilliant. Sniper ammo. That's exactly what I need. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm real exposed at the moment. God, my health is like naff all. I just need to get through this fucking door. Get through the fucking door. Oh, motherfucker, that was close. I was dying like a little bitch there. Oh, the music is so good in this game. It's just Bond. That's what it is. It's so good. Kiko, where have you been? Trying to catch up with you. Must be exhausted, James. What would you say to a little nap? I mean, it was bound to happen. It's a bond, and there were like four women on the playing field. Well, three: Kiko, Zoe, and uh, Dominique. One of them was surely going to be not great. Uh, Stats-wise, who accuracy was not great. We needed a hundred, and we got. 41%, we needed 100% health, and we got 4% health, which is awful. Did it in better time than expected, apparently. 
Um, but no, that was not great. We did die quite a lot that mission. But that's Chain Reaction, which is probably one of the harder and longer missions in the game. The next one is at least... Oh, we've got Rook with a reward card. The next one is relatively straightforward, so I hope you'll join me next time for Phoenix Fire Escape Kiko's Trap. Thank you very much, and good day.